Greetings, unsettled souls. Oh, this will help things. Greetings, unsettled souls, and a welcome to the correct views. Sam I beat Ganji doing political commentary for the media speaks. As you can see behind me, fact cam. All my sources on the screen. All of my sources today being one. Um, those of you that don't know, my band is opening for Pop Will Eat Itself at the Cleveland Agora. That's been uh, some time-consuming endeavors being planned there. That's the that's a Sunday, actually, the 27th. And uh, not to mention, we have all kinds of things going on with the show. Learning new ways for, uh, not going to mean as much to you guys, low def, high def, uh, being able to zoom in directly onto the uh, camera, uh, under the graphics, I should say, of the show. That is new. And lastly, I am now also a landlord, which is cool, but also taking all of my time as the, uh, the property been underway and guess what during all of that the news goes on so i'm gonna go ahead i don't want to leave my regular viewers uh, down so i'm gonna go ahead and do just one topic today it's at uh, the regular listeners know that's rare um look for longer shows going back to more of a normal schedule i think i'll probably be posting again uh wednesday we may end up messing with uh, fact cam here if that happens then we'll, we may do another short show tomorrow so this could be a week well, you want to make sure you hit subscribe. That's what I'm saying. All right, guys. On to the banking, bank, bank, bank news. Uh, one of the most popular articles that I've ever written, and I would also say uh, most well-received video when I read it, was how to live without banks. Well, uh, some people feel like they're standing out there nude if they're not uh, on a bank somewhere. I've always tried to get away from it. Um, they call me underbanked here because uh, some people, they need a bank account for... You know, the cashing a check or something. But why, pray tell, would you leave any money in it? Because if you leave any money in it, ultimately they're going to do what's called a haircut or they're going to limit how much you can take out in the event of a bank run. They're going to do something like that. You're going to be host, so don't leave your money in a bank. I'm not going to go over that. Look up How to Live Without Banks. It's on my site. It's free. Um, but listen to this. What's your preference when making purchases? This is Reason.com. Millions of Americans who avoid banks offer a peak the underground economy. What's your preference when making bank purchases? Do you still swipe a card? Do you prefer to pay with an app on your phone? Or are you one of those brave trendsetters trying to make a go of it by using Bitcoin for day-to-day -day purchases? It's a changing world and an increasingly digital one, it says. Money often seems to be embodied more by the brisk transfer of electronic signals than by anonymous exchange of paper notes and metal coins. Denmark, this is a dreadful idea, actually plans to shut down the printing presses. And as you can see right there on Fact Cam, that's the link. The physical ones don't expect money supply to suffer any restrictions, and some economists think everybody else should follow suit. Uh, who uses stuff anymore, right? Well, except for the vast chunk of the population that actually prefers cash as the primary, if not exclusive, means of exchange. Many Americans happily and quietly avoid banks and trendy purchasing choices in favor of old-fashioned paper money. That'd be me. Lots of business gets done that way, though nobody knows just how much, which is the whole point. Let me tell you something. Personal story. If I hire somebody to repair a house and they agree to work on the house in return for a place to stay, what business of that would that be of the government why in the world would you want to go to banks and pay bank fees and ATM fees and all of that for something that can be handled with a handshake and a receipt that's what we're talking about. they're trying to make it so that you can't do anything anymore without being literally spied upon by the federal government Last week, the Albuquerque Journal pointed out that over a third of households in the city either avoided banks entirely that would be the unbanked or else keep a checking account, but do much of their business through cash, check cashing shops, pawn shops, money orders, and other alternative financial products. Uh, they are the underbanked. And again, I'm going to go from the unbanked to the underbanked, because I'm going to have to be able to uh, uh, quickly make purchases. But again, I usually use debit cards, and I almost exclusively use money orders. 
And if I do open a bank account, which I haven't done yet, you can rest assured that I'm not going to be doing much damn banking there because they're going to take it. And even if they don't, the fees that you're paying with money orders and uh, that you pay to get checks cash are still cheaper than the fees you rack up with ATMs. Again, unless it's a huge check. A few weeks later, the Kansas City Star reported a similar local situation with 12% of households and 45% of African-American families completely avoiding banks. And it is a growing phenomenon. Um, nationally, according to the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, that's the FDIC, 7.7% of U.S. House households are unbanked and 20% are underbanked. Well, if more people listened to this show, I would like to double those numbers. If that was my legacy, I would be honored. Another 5.3% are unknown, and not having enough money to open an account is an understandable and widely cited reason to not do business with banks. Use of banks rises with income. Again, if you're cashing very large checks, but if you leave much money in there, the more money you have, the more they're going to take. Um, a lot of people are afraid of Uncle Sam, Greg Levinson, president and CEO of Southwest Capital Bank, told the Albuquerque Journal. So many people are operating outside the traditional banking system and institutions by choice. They'd rather deal in cash, use prepaid cards when plastic is an absolute must. I'm a big fan of that. Um, it says, Edgar L. Feige, an Emetris professor of economics at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, agrees. His research suggests that the U.S. Con economy widely overstates the amount of currency circulating overseas that domestic holdings of cash add up to $2,300 for every man, woman, and child in the country. Basically, they're worried that you're not going to pay your fair share, which, again, libertarians have been saying forever, is exactly what would happen if the taxes were a part of what you purchased instead of what you made. That's been said forever. Um, it says, it's good news that there's more pr prosperity out there than we know. In other words, um, they, one of the ways that they can tell that this has happened is the, the, the tax rate or the banking rates or whatever will go down. The numbers for the banks will go down. But at the same time, let me go back to that. At the same time, spending will stay up. So it says, despite a sharp drop off in the labor participation rate, consumer spending has continued to surge. That means that uh, it's a pretty fair bet, it says, who have managed to earn income in the shadow economy. There's nothing shadow economy about it. People tend to do business between them and someone else. They don't want to have everything scrutinized, everything coded with this, red tape with that. And that is why you're going to find more and more people banking less and less. So what am I saying here? There are ways to avoid putting your money in banks. There's ways to avoid giving your bank tons of money to use the ATM and to simply get it your own money. So I guess this video sort of works in tandem with how to live without banks. Go ahead, look it up if you haven't already. And again, consider it another correct views warning here in the early morning hours as I get ready to go to sleep. Um, make sure, take it as a warning because things, it, it, February always has a crash near the Shimata you don't know what that is that's a whole nother topic but it had look it up shimata crash you'll find it um bad things everywhere and if it's only somewhat bad um it's a good idea not to have your money locked up in some financial institution that you may or may not be able to get to it when you need it was that february or september uh september this month the shimata and uh october and then usually there's some kind of uh Usually some kind of mess around February leading into the spring, of course, the elections in full swing and all of that. All right, friends, you're listening to the Correct View short one today. It um, might be a short one again tomorrow. I don't know. And then um, a regular show Wednesday. Good night, friends. God bless. And thanks for watching. Hit share, hit subscribe, leave a comment, and go to themediaspeaks.com. Good night, friends. God bless.